Hey everyone, it's Base Junkie transmitting from Hamburg, Germany, and I'm obviously not in my usual space. So have a look around. I am at the airport here in Hamburg. Because, well, I'm flying to Portland right now, so uh, this is one of the reasons uh, there haven't been like many videos uh, in the past weeks after like a busy September. But uh, on a very short note, I got an invitation by the Goethe Institute, which is like one of the main organizations uh, which represents German culture in the world, actually to take part in the Deutschlandjahr, especially in the Wunderbar Together tour which is a tour that celebrates like American German friendship all over the United States and uh, they do a tour stop in Portland uh, from the 9th of October to 12th of October and um, now it is like the 8th of October but uh, yeah my flight departs at like 6 a.m. 6 10 a.m. but uh, due to like shady connections in terms of public transport and stuff uh, I decided to go to the airport earlier because uh, like at midnight so I have to spend like six hours here but anyway I'd rather do this than like miss my flight in the morning because from where I live it is like well tricky because the first bus departs at uh, 4, 4 or 7 a.m. or something like that and this is like uh, a one hour's ride and then it's check-in and security check and all that stuff so uh, that would be a little bit um, of a short time shortage in the morning so I have to spend like a few hours here I have like had one hour of sleep actually uh, I was working this morning and in terms of work as I told you I work in a music distribution company and uh, which comes down to that my label actually, like introterin recordings and introterin tapes and also like a Kabayosamintal are internationally distributed by Word and Sound right now. So uh, they're on pre-sale and uh, we are going to like uh, send the stock out, the back stock out to the world just before I release the next record actually. So uh, this is a thing that happened and uh, right now I guess I will find my gate go through a security check and then uh, spend like a few hours at the airport. I hope they don't take my power bank away because my phone is dying on me actually. And uh, yeah, this is what's happening. And uh, I'm gonna meet like Tom, uh, Tom Hyren district of the vinyl community. Uh, so, so okay mit film here? Well, a change of location spontaneously because the airport security wasn't happy with me filming. So uh, they told me I need a like permit to film at the airport which is like totally bullshit because I'm just filming myself so uh, yeah this is what's happening uh, the, the, my labels are distributed internationally right now uh, pre-sale is on like at work and uh, I guess uh, when I I cannot like go to security and stuff because they're closing this area the specific area of the airport and uh, they're opening at 3.30 again so uh, I will spend a lot of time downstairs uh, contemplating and stuff and thinking about stuff making plans and uh, when I'm through security check I will be filming again at some point so uh, we'll see us there and uh, yeah I mean uh, what I was about to say I'm meeting Tom Hyren district there uh, of the vinyl YouTube community which I'm excited about because he's the first member of the uh, YouTube vinyl community I'm gonna meet in person actually and uh, yeah and the other thing is like my phone is dying on me so uh, this is anything so I hope they don't take my power bank away and uh, yeah my records are in Portland already I shipped them over with the like FedEx and uh, we'll see how the flight goes uh, I guess it's like a 14 hours 14 and a half hours flight overall with a like stop in Amsterdam so I'm gonna shoot like some pictures in Amsterdam as well so here we go past the check-in interestingly the security check went very well and nobody asked about my seven inch adapters like they did in the last time i flew to atlanta so uh, now it's about one and a half hours to boarding and i'm here at the airport which you cannot see because there's a reflection but um, i'm tired as hell and i'm looking forward to finally go to amsterdam and then to, to portland and definitely looking, I'm looking forward to going to Portland, uh, like 
to departing from Amsterdam because I'm tired as hell and I want to get some hours of sleep for sure. And by the way, all like everything is a thing for sure. Well, good morning, folks. I'm in Amsterdam right now and I'm very grateful for the ability to sleep on airplanes because, well, I didn't even um, realize we were like taken off. So uh, I was fucking tired and I slept the whole flight. So uh, I woke up when we like touched the tarmac. And now I gotta wait like for about two hours to board my next flight to Portland. And this is Amsterdam Schiphol. Like a big airport and I feel, well, a little deaf on my right ear for some reason. Maybe some water stuck in there from like taking a shower like earlier and stuff. And uh, I'm gonna find me some food and like some water maybe. And uh, we'll see how the flight to Portland goes. I hope I can fly, uh, I can fly, I can sleep there for another few hours. Here we go. Security got me once again, uh, like on my last trip to Atlanta, um, where they like had security check me in Frankfurt for the for like a big security check and stuff. They now got me off uh, off the track in uh, Amsterdam. Had like a total body scan, checked my bag once again, checked my boots. Were skeptical about my boots. Were skeptical about my belts, but finally I'm here. Um, at my gate D53 and my Delta airplane, my flight seems to be there. So, uh, next step will be like Border Patrol and TSA in the US. And now I gotta wait for like a bit. Boarding is about 9 10, I guess. It's 8 30 because uh, this airport is a massive, like, massive, massive. It took me like about 10. 15 minutes to get here to my gate from where I arrived so this was like a journey and uh, I didn't get any caffeine but I felt like it but still um, I want to sleep on the plane so uh, that's my goal so uh, therefore I'm uh, getting hydrated with some other stuff like vitamin well stuff uh, a little bit of zinc and like a little bit of water and uh, We'll see how that goes and I hope I can take a long nap on my way to Portland. Well, seemingly I made it. They got me a second time in Amsterdam, like checking me for drugs and stuff. But like entry into the US this time was like, as I say in German, a Kinderspiel. So now I'm uh, gonna go to the rivals and find Miriam or someone who's gonna pick me up and then we'll see what Portland brings. So I'm here and we'll see uh, how this week turns out. Okay, nice little adventure. Um, nobody's gonna pick me up, so I have to find me like a train that takes me to Pioneer Cotter Square, and uh, this will be my first public transport ride in Portland, actually, and in America overall, because the uh, last time in Atlanta, we just Ubered, actually, so uh, this is what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna ride my train here. Okay, departing from Portland Airport. Interesting, interesting. This is a red line train to Portland City Center and Beaverton Transit Center. Guess it will be, guess it will be 10 or 12 stops for me to go, so we'll see what I see from Portland. It's rainy, it's autumn, but it's not that cold, fortunately, so uh, it's not like t shirt like okay, nice and warm, but. Uh, Definitely better weather than uh, I expected, kind of. So uh, there are a few patches of blue sky, and this is where I'm departing from Portland Airport. Let's take a trip. One thing that's evident. America is a car country for sure, a lot of big highways and uh, on the other side now there's wood but there were like uh, big industrial estates and stuff and uh, a few rundown places so not so different from Germany overall except for autobahns 
Autobahn, Autobahns and Autobahns. Interesting. So Port Misahaba city, so uh, there is some industrial stuff going on I guess. And this is looks a little older than the stuff we got in Hamburg, but uh, very very familiar feeling and a big river and stuff. Here's like a panorama view. Nice bridge we're crossing. So far. Okay, here we are. This is a similar logo. Germany and the US, wunderbar together. So I guess this is the place where I'll stay for the next Week kind of. Uh, Hello, Portland. High rises around, and maybe I'm gonna find someone, uh, like a familiar face or something, and uh, we'll have a look. There's a little waterfall fountain thing going on over there, which is nice as well. And the wind that's going on kind of reminds me of Hamburg, so um, yeah, I'm feeling home actually. Yay, so here we are. Hello Portland. Hello base. Hello, why don't you focus? And now you focus. I never figured this out, how to do this like in mirrors and stuff. So here I am, here's my hotel room, like a big TV screen, two bedroom. But I'm alone right now. A uh, view out of the window is uh, a sweet little parking lot, which I really like actually some high-rises and a little bathroom over there so um, here we go sweet and cozy and uh, I guess I want to make myself at home here like for a minute or so and then uh, may maybe take a shower and then uh, I'm gonna hop back to the place and show you the tent where things are constructed for tomorrow and uh, like have a, little th uh, have a little walk around Portland maybe. Okay this is gonna be busy I guess. Um, plans update kind of. Uh, on Thursday I will do like a little workshop thing for like college and high school students like talking about the opportunities in the music industry and also like play a little DJ set for them. On Wednesday morning, I might also play like two little DJ sets as well for the uh, conference that's going on, which will be a little bit extra stuff. And uh, then the two performances for the um, Lagerfeld exhibition tomorrow, and also the thing with Craig Doherty on Saturday. So, uh, yeah, Portland looks like a busy place for me, maybe. Okay, business is about to go down, kind of. Everyone's buzzing and busy. The whole tent where I will be performing like a few nights, nice paintings and photographs by Karl Lagerfeld, the famous German designer. And this is what is happening. Everyone's buzzing. Okay, folks, this is gonna be tomorrow's workspace. Everything set up apart from the monitor, which just need a cable. But this will be my view and a lot of nice Lagerfeld paintings and pictures and stuff. The box. Super nice sound guys. And maybe I'm gonna start playing at 7 in the morning tomorrow. So for like half an hour or something like that. We'll make up my mind on that and we'll find out later. This is a building, Pioneer Courthouse which uh, is the building this, uh, this square is named after and I just ordered like because I gotta play it tomorrow uh, at 7 a.m. I just ordered a uh, gin tonic instead of caffeine so uh, so uh, tomorrow we're gonna be a fun day and uh, I guess all the people here think I'm crazy but uh, if you roll with tour life you gotta roll with tour life this is gonna be deadly Donuts, Miriam? Donuts? Absolute donuts. 
Yay, what a day. Still no feeling, no jet lag, but uh, we had like nice food in like a local brewery, uh, pizza, pizza pie place. And uh, then I we went with a group to Voodoo Donuts, which is like the epitome of donut eating for me because I wasn't a big donut fan before, but uh, this place was recommended to me by my old mate Daniela, which uh, actually graduated from school with me back in the days, like over 20 years ago. We haven't seen each other in ages, but uh, we're still in touch kind of via Instagram, so she recommended to go to Voodoo Donuts, and we did, and I did, and uh, the Ring of Fire is on fire, and uh, the triple chocolate thing is, no, the old-fashioned, uh, maple old-fashioned donut is the best donut I've eaten so far, so uh, that's for that, and now we're gonna wrap the day up, or I'm gonna wrap the day up, although it's only like 10 p.m., but uh, I gotta be on location at 6.45 in the morning, so uh, this will be interesting, I s like, uh, set a dozen of alarms and um, yeah it's only like five minutes walk from the hotel to the location but uh, still 6 45 a.m is quite a thing and i gotta do my first dj set about 7 a.m from 7 a.m to like 7 30 and there will be a lot of short dj sets and like filling in for panels and or like in between panels and i'm gonna do workshops with high school students and stuff and uh, this will be very very interesting and uh well this is like an intense trip for sure i'm meeting a lot of new people and a lot of new connections and a lot of new ideas come come into place and stuff and uh yeah this is how i expected that's better than i expected uh in terms of what traveling for the good institute will be and i am like officially proud and glad and happy and also a little tired but uh this is a team I can work with for quite a while, I guess, so uh, I hope there is more things to come. And uh, I got confirmation kind of that they got me in their like music database and stuff today. So uh, I might be traveling the world for this institute a little more, maybe in the future. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, now this is like a cozy, messy hotel room thing all my stuff is on the bed the bathroom we can have a look out of the window maybe because why not so uh, here we go there and uh, well the battery of my camera is dying as well so uh, I'm gonna wrap this up and charge my camera battery as well and uh, I'm gonna talk to you tomorrow so see you in a bit